Ralph Lauren is an icon of the men's style world, not just for his era-defining clothing lines, but also his philosophy and his mesmerizing personal style. After I examined how Ralph Lauren created the old money aesthetic as we know it today, I've decided to take a deeper dive into the way he dresses himself. Nobody else quite looks like Ralph, but in this video I will share with you three laws of Ralph Lauren's style that you can apply to yourself, no matter your taste, budget, or experience. So let's waste no further time and begin with law number one. The biggest hallmark of Ralph Lauren's personal style is how he brings together pieces from completely different cultures in one outfit. He breaks all the rules all the time, but somehow manages to get it right. For Ralph, his biggest influences are the British countryside, Western wear, and the American preppy aesthetic. For example, here he's wearing denim jeans, a denim shirt, and cowboy boots. But then he's thrown on this British tweed jacket, another favorite of his. In this example, he's wearing black tie on the top, a classic male look, and then blue jeans on the bottom, which is another classic male aesthetic, but it exists completely on the opposite end of the formality spectrum. Ralph is outlandishly and knowingly breaking all the unwritten rules of style. Whether he does so successfully or not will depend on your taste. But he wears these combinations with a powerful confidence. And he breaks the rules so consistently that this has become a signature of his personal style. So it's less jarring when we see him dress like this because it's actually what we've come to expect. And I think he summed up his philosophy perfectly when he said, personal style is about a sense of yourself, a sense of what you believe in, and wearing what you like. To apply this to your own outfits, have a think. What styles are you naturally drawn to? Perhaps you like the look of the English gentleman. Maybe you also dig the old money aesthetic, and perhaps you love race car driving or you're a guitarist. How can you combine all of these styles together? Think of a way you can blend different elements of these styles to represent your personality. This is also what we see with the Ralph Lauren brand. It's this magical blend of old Hollywood glamour, the British aristocracy, and the American West. None of these ideas are original on their own, but it's the careful combination and curation of them together that makes it so distinctly Ralph. The second rule of Ralph Lauren's personal style is one I think we can all get behind, and that is to be comfortable. Ralph believes that clothes are meant to be lived in and loved. And this is his priority before brand and even before quality. He will even wear a shirt from Kmart because it makes him feel good and it reminds him of happy times he had when he was wearing it before. For Ralph, how clothes make you feel is just as important as how they make you look. But being comfortable doesn't necessarily mean wearing casual clothes. It's about feeling comfortable and relaxed in whatever you're wearing. Ralph looks totally laid back and at ease in a tuxedo or a double-breasted suit. He looks like he owns these outfits, not the other way around. And if you're wondering how he does it, it's not because they're expensive or because he owns the company. It all comes with practice. He's worn these clothes so much that they feel like an old set of pajamas to him. So whatever you want to wear, the more familiar you are with wearing it, the more it will feel like a second skin. And this applies equally to a plaid shirt or your best suit. Personally, I love my blazers so much because I wear them all the time and they just feel so natural and comfortable to be in. Even though it's a more formal garment that for a lot of men they would feel uncomfortable being in. And the ease with which you can wear different garments is a big part of what makes you a stylish man. It's the difference between the nonchalant, suave gentleman relaxing in his two-piece suit and the guy who looks awkward like he can't wait to get out of it. So comfort and natural relaxation create a powerful aura of confidence that we see Ralph project in his photos. You'll notice how on this channel I always use the word style or I'll talk about being well-dressed. Never do I consider what we do here fashion. And that is exactly Ralph's third law of style, to forget about fashion. Although his job is literally fashion designer, his philosophy is totally different from most people in that industry. Maybe it's because he never went to fashion school, or maybe it's just his own genius. 
But he's never tried to reinvent the wheel or be outrageous for its own sake. Style is very personal. It has nothing to do with fashion, he said. Fashion is over quickly. Style is forever. Ralph likes what he likes and he works hard to recreate that as best as he can. Although the Ralph Lauren brand has changed a lot in its near 60 year history, there's still a recognizable aesthetic throughout. And even though Ralph Lauren's popularity in the mainstream has waxed and waned, Ralph has never cared very much for the fashion trends set by others in the industry. And he doesn't care much for labels either, despite being the man behind one of the world's most recognizable ones. Ralph has a term, fashion victim. That's somebody who feels like they need all of these labels to show everyone how stylish they are. It's somebody who always wants the latest things for fear of being outdated. So what does this mean for us as individual guys who just want to be well-dressed. It's about carving an aesthetic that is timeless. It's about thinking to the past and the modern world and thinking, how can I create a look that makes me feel confident and prepared for whatever life throws at me? It means ignoring fashions and putting our faith in the classics. So whether you're a younger guy or an older guy, Ralph believes you can look cool at any age as long as you develop your own authentic taste. Ignoring fashion also means you shouldn't wear anything that you don't actually like. And as you continue with your sartorial path, you'll encounter things that other men think are stylish, but you just don't. Maybe it's a pair of boat shoes, a certain style of blazer, a type of tie. And that's okay, you don't have to wear them. There's enough great timeless clothes out there for anybody to build a closet they love without compromise. In fact, I think personal style is about making the most of what you naturally gravitate to and learning how to combine these pieces together in outfits. So Ralph, he's all about individuality, even when he's wearing something very ordinary, like blue jeans or a plaid shirt. As he said, it's easier to follow fashion than it is to have personal style. But Ralph takes pride in how he looks and he enjoys creating an idiosyncratic aesthetic. So take the path less followed and discover your own timeless style with no regard to the whims of fashion. Gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed learning about the personal style of Ralph Lauren. Whatever you think of his clothing brand or the way he dresses, I'm sure there's a lot about his style philosophy that you can align yourself with. I want to hear from you in the comments. Is there one particular brand, designer or tailor that you feel best represents your personal style? And if you want to learn more style rules from a well-dressed man, check out my video on Guy Ritchie. This film director has a fascinating narrative about why men should embrace style, reject convention, and become the masters of their own journey. I'm sure you will enjoy this video if you haven't already. And thank you as always for watching, gentlemen. I'll see you in the next one.